எல்லோருக்கும் வணக்கம் டாக்டர் சம்பத் ஃபவுண்டர் பிரசிடென்ட் வேர்ல்ட் ஹவர்ஸ் எக்கனாமிக் கான்ஃபரன்ஸ் டாக்டர் ஜூனை சேர்மன் ரிசப்ஷன் கமிட்டி ஆனரபிள் மினிஸ்டர் திரு துரை முருகன் ஆனரபிள் மினிஸ்டர் திரு லக்ஷ்மி நாராயணன் ஃபார்மர் மினிஸ்டர் ஆஃப் ஸ்டேட் திரு ஜெகத் ரஷகன் டாக்டர் விஸ்வநாதன் Your Excellency Dr. Moses Vira Sami Nagamutu, former Prime Minister of Guyana, who is participating, like me, from a distance. Distinguished personalities on the dais, brothers and sisters. I really regret not to be physically present in Dubai and participate together with you in this ninth world economic conference. But uh, still, through this uh, zoom meeting i will showcase my country mauritius and spell out the possibilities for business and investments let me thank and congratulate uh, dr sampat and dr junaid for their engagement in the organization of this conference i have had a look at the program and the list of personalities who will intervene and i am sure that the conference promises to be a very successful one of course what is most important will be the actions that will follow from the ensuing resolutions in terms of startups business partnerships and investments that will create wealth and help uplift the economic and social well-being of our people my speech will dwell essentially on the attractiveness of mauritius as a trade and investment destination we have a population of 1.3 million inhabitants mauritius has a sophisticated and highly successful free market economy heavily reliant on exports with a gdp per capita of 12500 us dollars the country has embarked on a bold series of reforms to further diversify the economic base thus enabling the country to be more resilient to external shocks mauritius is a diversified economy in brief i may say that mauritius offers excellent business opportunities in the fields of manufacturing and light processing financial services and fintech ict and media logistics and free port seafood and marine industry biomedical industry the knowledge industry life sciences healthcare and biotechnology <laughs> retirement and senior living and smart cities today mauritius owns a highly valued image equity which has been built over the past years it has forged a solid reputation in terms of ethics transparent governance economic and political freedom on these parameters mauritius remains first in africa this is the consequence of a multi-pronged approach in addressing both administrative and legislative impediments in doing business the country is a low tax jurisdiction with a standard tax rate of 15% for both personal and corporate income there is no withholding of tax on dividends and capital gains tax holidays over a period of 8 years are provided to innovative activities smart cities among others there is no exchange control in mauritius the principle of free movement of capital is acquired it is therefore possible for foreign investors to send home funds invested profits capital gains and dividends outside the country without any restrictions or particular formality very importantly the country takes advantage of its strategic position at the crossroads of africa asia and australia 
It has gradually transformed itself into an international hub for investors in search of security, transfer regulation, and high value added enterprise. As a platform to invest or create activities in Africa. In addition, with the plethora of trade agreements that Mauritius has signed and ratified, it has duty-free access for its locally manufactured products to nearly 70% of the world's population. Speaking on financial services, let me say that the Mauritius International Financial Center offers a panoply of competitive financial products and services, including private banking, global business, insurance and reinsurance, investment banking, global headquarter administration, among others. Ladies and gentlemen, Mauritius offers investors a golden opportunity to tap into a well-established luxury and property market. Non-citizens may acquire villas and apartments as a unique asset for investment purposes or as a second home. It is also possible for the residences to be put on rental. Several important projects are being developed. With the new economic expansion of Mauritius, the Mauritian government is promoting openness to foreign investors, to people with talents and know-how and to retirees. Foreign nationals may opt to invest, to invest, work, live, or retire in Mauritius through various avenues, namely the occupation permit, the residence permit, the young professional occupation permit, or the permanent permit residence. Mauritius has gained a global reputation as a preferred gateway for investment into and out of Africa. The value and attractiveness of Mauritius is largely reputational. Mauritius can satisfy the expectations of the business sector by ensuring a strong legal and regulatory framework, good corporate governance, an array of modern financial products and services, global connectivity, not to mention competitive operational costs. Ladies and gentlemen, with these words, I invite the Tamil people all around the world to come and pay us a visit in Mauritius, and I wish them every success in their endeavors for a brighter future. Allow me to once again convey my good wishes for the success of the conference and congratulate the organizers for holding such a grand and magnificent conference. There is a saying in Tamil that says, I'll say it in English though, ride the mighty ocean in quest of treasure, which in essence captures the Tamil spirit to succeed. This spirit, along with the creativity of the Tamil people, has been in the past, has been instrumental in their success, and I'm confident will continue to bring them continued success wherever they are and in whatever field they are involved. Sagodara Sagodarigale Mikka Nandri. Thank you very much, Mikka Nandri.